Welcome everyone to another installment of LOL Games. Uh, today I am playing Crazy Taxi that originally came out on the Sega Dreamcast. Now what I'm actually playing is the Xbox Live Arcade version, however it is based off of the Dreamcast version. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and play this. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do the arcade mode. Yeah, I'll play the girl, because you know, girls are cool. Um, but I remember a lot of people played it. I would play it at my friend's house. Can't say I was a big fan. Oh shit, I've already messed up. But I thought it was fun. Where did they take you to? So basically, if you guys are unfamiliar with Crazy Taxi, it's an arcade game. But basically, you are a taxi driver that is um, picking up people and trying to get them to their destination uh, in the you know least amount of time possible. And um, the lower their color, the harder it is to get them there. So green is the easiest. What in the hell is going on? Green is the easiest, uh, yellow is kind of in the middle, and red is the hardest. That's kind of awkward. You have to like press a button to switch. I heard someone call. Shit. Uh, what in the hell? That guy with the physics in this game is a wee bit on the offside. So she wants to go to a pizza parlor. Um, now, sadly, I really wish I had the Dreamcast version in hindsight because they really took a lot out from the the like HD versions or whatever. For one thing, they took out. Um, a lot of the cross promotions, like originally instead of taking a person to a pizza place, you take them to Pizza Hut. Um, and there's also later on a chicken place you take them to, and you actually took them to like KFC. So, and plus on top of that they had really good music, like they had The Offspring, um, and a bunch of other artists that were really popular in the 90s. So to me, it just like totally encompassed the 90s extreme. I mean, come on, how extreme can you get? You're a taxi cab driver, look how I'm driving. You're really running over people, trying to get <laughs> dudes to their destination. Um, I feel like the GameCube and the Dreamcast were these two systems that just experimented like crazy with, um, you know, what kind of games to make and stuff like that. Now this is not a smart idea, getting a red. And that's seconds left but, yeah. but um it was just one like, that's a priest I'm driving a priest right now oh wow am I actually make it slow screw you priest and I'm dead I just told a priest to go screw himself that's pretty funny look at him he's got a big grin on his face like it's kind of creepy actually <laughs> Look how laid back he is. That uh, it was one of those things where I think I mentioned it, but this was just like that time period where Sega was just experimenting with so many things. Like you know, they made their Sonic games and stuff like that, but they would do like these cool ideas, like this or Samba the Amigo, which was another good game. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that. I'm not going the wrong way, I'm going the right way. I just have to go the wrong way in order to get to the right way. Understand? <laughs> okay, I totally lost this fair. I think this is the first fair I've ever lost. Yeah, they like jump out. See, look. They literally go like, Fuck this! Like, they jump out of a moving vehicle. I mean, I think this is a fun game just to kill time. It really is. Like, if you have a couple of minutes to spare and you just want to play an arcade game, and not suck as much as I'm sucking. Like, look, I'm about to lose another fare. I'm terrible. Yeah, that was terrible. I think I'm gonna switch back to arcade mode. Now, I'm playing this actually on the original mode, so you guys can get an idea of what the game looked like in full screen. But, um, the. So, this is kind of like the Dreamcast mode with like the low res and all that shit, but you can actually play it with um, the newer features where it's like widescreen and all that stuff. I think you're in San Francisco. That's what this looks like. There's like all these trolleys. Man, I don't wanna go to San Francisco and ride a taxi. They're, they're all like badass taxis. Come on in, buddy. Popcorn Mania? That sounds like so much fun. I would love to go to Popcorn Mania. Do you think they have like, well, of course, they probably have like different popcorns and like, 
I bet they have like a toppings bar where you can get like plain popcorn and put like whatever flavors you want. Like I'm not much of a sweet popcorn guy, but I, I just don't like that nonsense. I think it's disgusting. No offense to anyone who likes it. I just kettle corn makes me want to kettle someone else's corn, if you know what I mean. Like I just want to kill. <laughs> I want to kill when I eat that. No, I like um, cheddar and like butter and stuff like that. I don't like the sweet. Pizza parlor, which is probably called Pizza Hut. Okay, I think they also, wait, did they have Taco Bell? I don't remember now. I want to say they had Taco Bell also. That was close. Popcorn Mania, oh man, I was just there. Let's, let's go. But yeah, you can drift so that you could, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I just murdered that guy. That guy's dead. Just killed someone and my passenger is like, Popcorn Mania, yeah, extreme. Just <laughs> I just killed someone and I got paid. It's not bad for t three minutes, you get that much money. I would love to get that much money in three minutes. Anyway, guys, so um, that was Crazy Taxi. Um, I mean, what is there to say about Crazy Taxi? Uh, you know, it's a fun game, it really is. Um, it's available on the Dreamcast, and I think it might have came out on the PS2? I can't remember, because I, I know there's two games. There's Crazy Taxi and Crazy Taxi 2. I only have Crazy Taxi, but it's available on Xbox Live Arcade. Um, I think it's available on PSN, and it's also available on, uh, obviously, the Dreamcast, the system it came out on. Um, so I'd recommend the Dreamcast version if you want the original with none of that stuff taken away. Um, if you're one of those people that doesn't care about, like, you know, the purest version or the original version or anything like that, then, yeah, get the Xbox Live Arcade version. I mean, you might as well. It has better graphics and, you know, all that other stuff. But anyway, um, so yeah, I would totally recommend this game. Um, it's a fun game. It's, a uh, balls-to-the-walls action, and it, it's just one of those, like, arcade relics that we're probably not going to get anytime soon in this day and age of first person shooters and gears of war and all that good stuff um but yeah so do pick it up i highly recommend and uh, invite some friends over seriously like get drunk play this game you know if you're 21 of course but just just do it if you're chewbacca or c3po if you're not you can't drink i don't even think c3po drinks Better go to Wikipedia!